Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Trending C. I'm Trini. This is C. Today we have a very, very interesting one, as we always do. <laughs> as always. As always. This is from a distillery mm -hmm. called Spay. And this is the Chairman's Choice Single Malt Whiskey. And may I say that uh, this month's sponsor is Spay, as well as our boy Brian E. Ty, and we are uh, focused on Spay all of July. Yes, absolutely. And our Dram Club will be getting samples of this. So if you're interested in a whole lineup from the Spay Distillery, then uh, you should check us out at patreon.com slash trendync. Uh, and sign up for our Dram Club, and you'll be getting samples of this bottle. There we go. Okay, no way. So, I'll just show you the bottle first. Pretty slick. Pretty slim. Yeah, that's cool. It's a tall bottle, too. It's almost like a um, ice wine. It's like it's, yeah, it's, it's like it's tall big. and skinny. So, this is the Chairman's Choice Single Malt Whiskey. I can't read the writing because it's small. Bottle number is zero, zero, nothing. Out of 4,000? Or, are, zero, we, or zero. are we bottle number 4,000? Right. Yeah, that makes more sense. Anyway, yeah. it's got a cute little tassel at the bottom. There you go. Okay, let's do it. It looks like, I think that the packaging design on the bottle makes it look like old school, kind of. Yeah, it kind of reminds cool. me of that uh, uh, Tam Du bottle style, too. Oh, okay, like yeah, yeah. That's got the skinny, tall. It's mm -hmm. a rounder, though. Oh, and it's got the... Uh, embossed signature on the yeah. side. Okay, here we go. And the chairman's choice was like, I don't know if there's anything written on here, but, uh, oh, you can oh, you can pour. I need to say one little thing. Yeah. When I was in Scotland recently, yeah. the, the uh, they, before they popped the top, every single time, they'd wet it, and then they'd pop it, even if it was open. Okay. And if you wanted to smell it, they'd do this. Get out of here. Yeah, so there you go. There's your nose. It's like a rimmer. Yeah. It works. Kind of works. Okay. Um, it says here, John and Robert Harvey, who founded the business in 1770, yeah. also started a unique family tradition on Christmas Day, 1787, a family-only whiskey called Spay Chairman's Choice. And I think that's... Uh, where the chairman would choose the whiskey on Christmas Day or something like that. Nah. And I guess the motto here is Space uh, space Single Malt Whiskey, the secret that cannot be told, only discovered. You know what? Let's, there's let's something. Discover it. Okay, there's something to that because, and I don't mean rambling on, but um, we've barely discovered Spay also because we've seen it at Whiskey Fest and maybe had it, yeah. but like. I can barely even track it down in store. Yeah, this is kind of our first deep dive into Spay, if, yeah. in all honesty. So okay. let's get into it. Let's uh, get the nose, or let's get the color first. The color is a little bit tan, I would yeah. say. It's a little bit amber. But uh, amber tan. Um, let's get to it. I gotta say the nose right away oh, wow. is, it's, it's very, like for 40%, that's a big nose. That's bursting with like fruity, uh, like, Figgy, fruity. Yeah, it's a fig. fig like kind of it's, it's like that candied fig. Like yeah, it's it's. It, you're right though. It's like that. Sometimes you gotta like really get your nose in there for a forty percenter. Not and for this. whatever this reason, this booming. is like it's a bouquet. Also has that like real that just that real biscuity kind of. It's the fig Newton for sure. Figginess, and then I guess maybe a slight. But would you say that's sherry? It. Yes, in a way, actually, because it's not like that a baseball Oloroso. No, it's not that sherry, sherry. You know, it's like a, it's that fruity sherry though. I think it's on there for sure. I mean, I don't think the colors maybe necessarily natural. It but, speak to it, but, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyways, nice big bold nose, and it's like nice it's nose very to pleasant. it. It's very pleasant. Like you could, it, because it's forty percent, you can get your nose right in there, and you can huff away and just kind of figure it out. But there's also like you said, there's like a bready, grainy kind of element to it, mm -hmm. and big, rich, dark, like candied, dried fruit notes. Yeah, this is uh, again, we always say this, but like you do have to let these glasses develop in the glass, and sure. even sit here for a half Especially an hour when you before you really get into it. it. But at least just for the sake of reviews, 
Like I'd say, I, it kind of actually reminds me of like a little bit of a, and I don't want, by the way, I, anything I say is not taking away from anything. I'm almost going to guess what you're saying. Go ahead and say it. I was thinking it's like a Dalmore 12 in a way. Mm. What were you thinking? Well, there's, I had a um, Kill Karen the other night and obviously that spring banky flavor is like, it's its own thing. But when I dug like really deep into the, like the big huff. There was something of that kind of like, it's almost like a lemony. Well, it's like a lemon salt rim kind yeah, of. Yeah, I don't want to say this is anything like Springbank, but there was just something that was tweaked in my mind. That yeah, was no, like, for sure. Was... And fair. And for me, what's tweaked in my mind is I can't get off that really um, sweet biscuit kind of doughy. Yeah. We should taste thing. it. Okay, let's taste like it. Five minutes. Oh, so soft. And it's, yeah, it's like the, the, I think the biscuit takes a back seat on the flavor and just the overall kind of like lemon tart sweetness or something of it comes out, like a custardy flavor. Yeah, it's like, it's like soft and mellow and it has this, um, this, this is like, this is highly crushable. Crushable. Yeah, this is a crusher. <laughs> it's super crush. You could sit down and put this, put this back. <laughs> now, there's, there is some something up front there's really like it's beyond just the soft and pleasant there's like an actual peachy there's like syrup a, or something there's like a fruity i was gonna say almost like a a vanilla pudding or something sure like yeah that, that works too because it's you know how like pudding is just so like creamy and soft and just kind of like eat a jug you know, of it and yeah. not even notice yeah barely it's light yeah like, i mean overall i'd say our first impression of this is um uh, pleasant you know like it there's nothing very pleasant nothing it's wrong with this one dangerously drinkable yeah like <laughs> i don't we're, we're learning more and more about the distillery as we open these bottles yeah, but the brand but uh there's a couple of things online that are don't you know they butt heads with the information with a bit with history so you know there's it's a relatively new distillery purchase mm -hmm. i think it's 2012 it said mm -hmm. um but they've been making well we got to talk to brian for, for, you know, years and, and like what is actually in this bottle right like yeah what is in this bottle we want to know i mean it's pretty pretty darn good <laughs> um, and so with our spay month we have three yeah. more bottles to open and uh so yeah check those out fumari trutina and they sound very tenne italian even though it's probably supposed to be like, like a yeah, like Scottish. -ish. No, I think that it's a whole lineup, right? Like there's a there's a thing, there's a theme going on there. They've got a theme. Mm, um, I just got a little gingerbread nose. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, yeah, a little herbal. Like there's yeah. a, there's, there's there's you know what? There's lots to discover in this one. It's very interesting. Highly crushable. Yeah. I think we've said that enough times, but I mean that it it is what it is. Um, that's what I'm getting. I think the nose is more booming than the palate was. Yeah, for me. but there is a sweetness on the palate that yeah, that is something different. All the flavors it's from the not nose. The, uh, you know, it's, there's something different. The, all the flavors from the nose are there. They're just like they're dialed back on the palate than they are on the nose, mm -hmm. which I guess cool. makes it highly drinkable. Okay, anyway, so very if you haven't yet. Join our Patreon, yeah. patreon.com slash training C. For as little as a dollar a month, you get extra, extra content. <laughs> extra, extra people. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Yeah. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment, check out Spade. Cheers. Cheers.